All right, guys, they're playing some Gwen top lane. We're playing Gwen this time versus Aatrox. And what we have is Conquer, Presence, Alacrity, Lascent. We're also running Biscuit, Secondary Tree, and we're running Cosmic as well. Now, this game, I'm going to showcase you guys how to 1v9 into a very fun matchup because um, Aatrox is currently really strong, really popular. Lots of people play it. Fortunately, though, like Gwen is also really strong at the moment, very popular. But the difference between these two champions is that my late game is absolutely broken. The only thing is Aatrox is more like an early game champ, where we are more like a mid late game champ. However, starting level 6, we basically outscale this guy, I'll show you. It's gonna be a fun one. We have my jungle pathing from ball into top side, so we'll have jungle. It's got level 2. So basically the way how this matchup works is you'll have to respect him based off of where the wave is. And the very second that you can charge your Q to four stacks, you can basically go for an EQ, out damage Aatrox, fall back, and then recharge the whole time. So the trading pattern is going to be quite simple. It's just like when we trade really does matter. For example, right now, if you if you walk in there and we try and auto the wave, it would be very bad because then Aatrox can just hit the, the Qs for free and poke me down. But if this wave gets under tower and then it gets you know thinned out by the tower and it starts slow pushing into Aatrox, at that point I start winning. I'll show you what I mean. That trade was definitely good in my opinion because I could just W in case he would uh, throw more of his combo down. I'm not going to go for that last hit. Some of the last hits are going to be gone. Sometimes you can't save them. Let's try. We'll do like one combo if he, co if he comes anywhere close to me right now. Yep. See? So that's like one chunk with EQ. And then we can instantly fall back. If you want to, we can even add like an auto attack on top of that. But now we have to wave in a good position. Let's see. Again, really good chunk. And we got him already. Yep. And now we push. See, so we knew exactly from the start of the match. We saw exactly that Ramus is pathing top. We know exactly that the early game is not exactly the best at level 1, so we just respect Aatrox, so you don't take the damage. And just playing it very slowly, playing around my combos, is all I needed. That guy unfortunately got wrecked. I wish I could have helped him, but... It was pretty hard to do. Let's get the reset. Okay. So, first things first, what we're buying is very simple. We're gonna be buying... The Dark Seal, we're also going to be buying the Amplifying Tome. And let's make it back. Now, I was really hoping that I could continue pushing, but this is fine. Because previously, like, their jungle wasn't through the river. So if I kept pushing and trying 1v1 Aatrox, it, I would probably turn into 1v2 because the jungle was up there too. That's why I fell back. Let's see. So again, like, the wave is now bouncing in my direction, right? We already have, like, a slight item advantage. Now, we're not going to be fighting him because the wave is pushing too much in my direction. If I walk anywhere close to him right now, I'm going to have a bad trade. So we're respecting him. So we only start fighting again after the wave is in a good position. So I'm going to try to stay away from him. We'll be avoiding the Aatrox Qs. He's got level 6 right now. It's pretty meaningless because we're respecting him. He's not able to get the all-in off. And there you go. Now we can start farming the wave. And then afterwards, he can start playing aggressive. Hmm. It's not very good. There's the ultimate. Nice. So we already got the ultimate out. Hmm. Sure. 
We're not going to allow him to escape this time. He's very low HP. He's got no ultimate. We have Ignite as well. And we also have my Flash. I don't think he realizes that yet. And he's dead. Yep. See? So the very second that we get like a... That we chunk him down with my combo. And also hit all of my ultimates. We just all in. And we kill him. Just like that. After the wave's in a good position. So I'm only playing around times... You know, aggressive on times when I can play aggressive. Let's go back. It's absolutely not important right now to be hitting the wave. Because you can see right now the wave is stacked. It's actually going to be pushing my direction. Because it's like completely stacked on his side of the lane. Which means that it will push into my direction. So if I don't touch that wave right now. You will end up losing like two minions. Maybe three minions. And I can also buy items. If I actually did push out the lane. I wouldn't be able to reset anymore. Which would mean I'm overstaying, which is really bad. It's now I get back again. But how it feels again, the wave is like bouncing my direction. You can see that this cannon is perfectly fine. I don't think it's going to go down because there's too little of these ones. So we're chilling. We're going to let this wave force on our tower, which probably means well, I already got the plating before. So that's fine. Seems like he's rushing this item, which is super, super broken against me, but... Not the most optimal item to buy for him. Got two potions, so it's okay if I take the damage right here. That's fine. Not going to get hit by that one. I'm staying away from the Aatrox Qs because I know it's a problem. And now we go for a trade. This guy's probably gonna die. Walk away. My combos on cooldown. I instantly charge my, my autos again. And there you go. Am I getting a free kill just now or? Okay, I guess enemy jungle wants to give a free kill along the way. Boost my lane, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Now we push. Now here comes a valuable moment. So most of you guys right now would be thinking, why not push for plates, okay? If I stay for this plate, and I can take that plate, I 100% could, okay? If I were to stay for that, it would be the worst thing that you can do. Because even if I take the plate and I get the gold, I get the one, uh, 120 plus gold, I would never be able to buy items. So I would get the gold, but I I can't reset to buy items. I would be forced to stay in the lane. So instead of like taking the plate, I just go back, I buy my items, and then I can come back and I'm actually going to be stronger than Aatrox. And the next time I kill him, my lead is going to be so big that I can stay around and take the plate anyways. So keep that in mind, guys. Overstaying is never worth it. If you can get the gold, it does not mean that you can use the gold. There's two differences right there, right? If you can't use the gold, it's absolutely meaningless. Now we push, because Aatrox is rotating. Rotating is not worth it for him, necessarily. Because I can get a plate anyways. I walk away. I'm going to pretend like I walk into the river. But then I'll turn around and then walk in the brush. And now we just go all in. Um, yeah, we can charge him right now with my combo. He's basically dead. Okay, his teleport's gone, so he's about to lose all plates. My, uh, my lane will end right here. In a good way. Yep. Now we push this too. This is basically what I was talking about earlier. My lead has been growing so much. That I'm able to overstay. And still win against them. So I'm literally just pushing this. With the intention of getting the tower. Because I know that when he comes back. I can still beat him. There's no problem there. And there you go. 
Got my tower. I'm not going to push another wave because I don't see the enemy jungle on the map. This Lilia can be anywhere right now. So it's no point in staying. He's got uh, Mercs right now, so he's slightly stronger. Oh. oh. Okay. I need to go in. Then my drone was up here. Okay, I'm dead because Thresh is also up here. My teammates are on the way, but... <laughs> no. The uh, the ability from the new champion is actually pretty big. Unfortunately, it's whatever. Okay, so we're going to be buying this one. We are also specifically going to be buying Mercs this game. Let's do it. Now, I could have technically started building towards Riftmaker, but it's a lot... A lot more safe and also a lot smarter to be just building boots right away. Even though it's Aatrox, right? Even though it's Aatrox, we could be going with Steel Caps and it would counter Aatrox. It's better to go Mercs because Mercs counters Lilia and this guy and then partially the CC that they have. So it's uh, a lot smarter if we're just building Mercs right away. Let's move back top. We're going to be pushing it out the entire way. So we're going to get the tier 2 tower. Or at least we're going to be pushing it all the way down there. And then we can start taking jungle camps as well. Actually, I'm trolling. Lost the cannon. Can't blame it. I'm recording YouTube videos. So if I record YouTube videos, I lose cannons all the time. <laughs> Man, that joke has been lasting for years now. I started joking with the cannon like, I think like three, four years ago. <laughs> I don't know. I want to go back top and take the wave, but... I'll take mid lane first, and then we move top again. To be slightly efficient. Maybe we could take uh, a 5 for the dragon, maybe. We'll see. I think we just got a tower right here. Hey, yup. Got a tower. We can also kill the Lilia right on the back here. At least I think so. Hey, yup. And we didn't kill the Thrash, but that's fine. The new champ is a lot of damage, but he doesn't have a dash. I'll take this wave too. Maybe move back top again. Perhaps maybe we're able to get the entire t uh, second tower, but... I don't think I'm gonna do it. Let's go for this. There you go. I might just go for that one just so I can have more damage. Move back top. I really want to try and get Magi before completing your Rift Maker, actually, but. I would have loved to have Magi early. Like, really early. I really like Magi and Quang because if you're, if you're playing really good and you don't int. The item's gonna pay off itself since you're scaling so hard. But that does mean you're gonna have to play very clean. Because if you int once with Magi, <laughs> you're obviously gonna be inting stacks away. It's not like always a good idea. It's a Lily at top. And I think that we probably can kill him, I think. Yep, that's another one. I would have really appreciate if I could get the kill for myself since I'm running Dark Seal. 
but it's okay. Nice. Okay. Hey, got it. Let's move back top. I need to try and force the tower soon. Really important. I can get the tower easily with the with the herald. I think I might just buy Magi right now, and then just risk it with the Magi. Because if I if I try and like if I only get like one catch right now and then get like multiple stacks, I can easily snowball the rest of the game faster than normally. I'm down to risk it. I got my herald ready, so if I kill Balain, we can get like two towers. Yeah, we're definitely gonna get kills right here. I got my W, so technically the ADC doesn't get to hit me. Yep. Wait. We just need to make sure that we get a couple autos on this one. Yep. I think that guy felt like giving me a free kill. I don't know. Not sure what he expected. But sure, I'll take that. And we got the second one. And maybe we can also drop it on this one. You know, just getting towered is fine with me. I'm not looking to overextend because I'm pretty sure they're going to be defending. There's no doubt about it. It'd be really nice if we can also take this one right here. Yeah, we got it. I'm not necessarily looking forward to more fighting because I'm like... You know, I'm like 500 HP or 800. Nice. Bad idea to move up there because I know it's not very good. Let's go back. But uh, this time we're going to go into Riftmaker. And the next item afterwards is probably going to be Rabidance, I think. I'm also thinking towards going Zhania, so I'm still thinking what I want to do or what I want to accomplish. I think I'm going to go probably Rabidon since I'm like building Magi. So if you get a lot of stacks, you can also benefit from Rabidon earlier. Got them both. So again, we get like multiple stacks right there. We have 21 stacks right now. And we can probably get to tier 3 as well. Yep. They can keep the inhib because the, the only reason why I keep inhib is because then they won't be farming for free. Because if you take inhib, the push will, the wave will always push towards them, uh, which can lead to you losing farm because you're not always there. If that makes sense. What happens next, I get to decide. Let's take this one. Nice. Oh. Well, we have a bit of a problem. Perhaps we don't. Well, I'm not dying, so that's a good sign. Because I got Magi, remember. Perhaps, maybe. Ah, that's kind of nice. After this jungle camp, 
I think that we can get the entire tower, it just really depends. Oh. Yeah, they cancel this back forward. Yeah, let's grab tower. Oh, well, let's take the inhib, shall we? Let's actually do it. Uh, we need to go Bear next, so Baron's going to be the next call that we need badly. The black mist won't hurt anyone. I promise. Yeah, let's get Revenants. Serious? <laughs> Alright then. Yeah, let's get Revenants. This guy loves me. Chase me down until I die. All right. Now we can back to base. No more backport cancel, please. Got it. Just sell D ring. I don't. I don't really care too much. Um, before going top lane, I'm just gonna go mid lane real quick. Well, they go for a Baron. Hey, I'm just gonna... Maybe. Well, maybe. Hold on. Serious? <laughs> that was CC for so long. Like, almost three seconds. That could have been super clean. I, I thought I could maybe kill all of them. Should have maybe dropped four stacks first and hit my kill. I'm going to try to be efficient. I do think that my teammates can go Baron, actually. I'm like 250 away from Rabidans. It's such a big power spike. Yeah, okay, my teammates are going to go Baron. I don't think these guys can do it by themselves. I'm on my way. I'm slow, but I'm on my way. Alright, there we are. Good. Go back once more, get the Rabidans. And here we go. I think the only thing we gotta do right now is just go for like one single team fight. And the game will probably end. Yeah, let's go for the team five. Aatrox is top lane, so we win. Woof. Okay. All right, bro. Yep, game over. Hey, this is Gwen Top. Thanks so much for watching. See the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.